superhero villains everyone actually loved. Loki. Before Thor first came to theaters, even fans rolled their eyes a bit at Loki being cast as anything but a wacky cartoon villain. But a subtle performance from Tom Hiddleston brought the character a depth he previously lacked, earning both actor and character a legion of devoted fans. Ian McKellen's Magneto Sir Ian McKellen has brought gravitas to many beloved characters, but his turn as the sympathetic antagonist Magneto was more than a match for real-life best friend Patrick Stewart's Professor X. Danny DeVito's Penguin Has anyone ever been so physically perfect for the role of the Penguin? When Danny DeVito took the villain on in 1992's Batman Returns, his short stature and ability to convey seething rage ensured that anyone else who attempted the role would have some very big shoes to fill, metaphorically at least. Steven Dorff's Frost His movie may have come out long before the current string of superhero flicks, but who can forget Deacon Frost? the sexy vampire who even managed to surprise the normally deadpan blade. Sparkling vampires should have taken lessons on how to be menacing from this guy. Ironmonger While Tony Stark stole his own show, the quietly plotting Obadiah Stane stood back and waited for his boss to self-destruct. Once Stane donned his own powerful suit, Ironmonger was nearly unstoppable. His motivations might not have been particularly noble, but there's something refreshing about a bad guy who's so honest about his goals. Dr. Octopus Who doesn't wish they had a few extra arms? The best part about Dr. Octopus is how he formed an intimate relationship with the machine that fused with his body. It was almost sad to see him go. Bane Admit it. Sometimes it is fun to see Batman taken down a notch by someone more physically capable. Bane offered something that we hadn't been shown yet in the Nolan films, a nemesis who can match the hero punch for punch. The Joker In the pantheon of comic book movie bad guys, perhaps the most iconic is the Joker. Whether you prefer Jack Nicholson's cartoonish version or the late Heath Ledger's hilarious yet terrifying take, both have the ability to give you chills. Why so serious? Terrence stamps Zod. Zod didn't need a shout or gesticulate in order to command attention. He just had to raise an unimpressed brow and wear fabulous clothing. Terrence Stamp's 1980 performance as Superman's arch enemy proved that story and acting skill trump any amount of CGI.